achieve encourage limbs fall off head bar he's tough bullying wheelchair bmw weeping headmaster extrapolated look him Well, guys, I was born this way, and there's no medical reason uh, why, why that happened. My brother and my sister were born with arms and legs. And sometimes in life, things happen that don't make sense. My doctors never thought that I'd be able to walk. And today, <laughs> I'm walking. I'm from Australia. Anybody one day want to go to Australia? It's such a cool place, and um, I now live in LA, I'm a Southern California boy, so I only live about four hours from here. My parents always said, Nick, you don't know what you can achieve until you try it. And uh, the doctors looked at me and said, he's not going to walk, he's not going to go to school, he's not going to do anything in his life. And then my parents, they just loved me like crazy and said, you got to try try this, try that, try this, try that. And I'm thinking sometimes like, mom and dad, you're crazy, man. I have no arms, no legs. How would I ever be able to do this or do that? But they encouraged me and they loved me. And as human beings, we're waiting for stuff like that. We all want love. Everybody say love. love. Very good. You see, it only takes three seconds for someone to tease me when I was at school and just say, eh, you ugly. Eh, you can't do this and you can't do that. And some of you are thinking like, man, seriously? You had kids picking on you? Like how heartless are those kids? Picking on me with no limbs? Like you would probably say, well, I'm not that bad. I wouldn't pick on a kid with no limbs. But why would you pick on anyone? Well, because it's fun. It's just culture. Okay, we'll get to that. I want you to know the three things that I needed to come to in my life is the truth of my value, the truth of my purpose, and the truth of my destiny. I want you to know something. In our mind, we put ourselves down all the time. I want to ask you today, do you think I'm cool enough to be your friend? But I don't swear, I don't use the F-bomb. Am I still cool enough to be your friend? Yeah. But I don't tease people, am I still cool enough to be your friend? Yeah. But I have no arms, no legs. Seriously. <laughs> you would be my friend even though I have no arms, no legs. So you're telling me it actually doesn't matter, right? If it actually doesn't matter for how we look, then why do we tease each other for how we look if it actually doesn't matter? Why is it that we look ourselves in the mirror and we see us, well, we're having fun. Oh yeah, man, we're just, just part of culture, man. There were 12 people one day teased me, taking me away from my hope, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Don't worry, I won't fall off because if I did, I'll break my arm. <laughs> but 12 people teased me one day and I can put a pretty brave face on, but cry on the inside, for real. Oh, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it hurts. There was this one bully. I became his target for three weeks. And every time I go by him, I was 13, he was 17. I was in my chair. I'm only four foot nine in my other chair, my old chair. He's like six something, so he's huge, right? So I'm looking up at him, and every time I go by him, he's like, hey, there's Nick. He has no... And you can imagine what he said. And I'm like, what's his problem, man? So I would try to avoid him, and I was so embarrassed. He would say it really loud, and everybody would be looking, and some would be laughing. I'm like, what is this guy's problem, man? So one day, after three weeks, I went up to him. And I said, hey. He's like, hey. 
I said, can you please stop it? He said, stop what? I said, stop teasing me. He said, what are you talking about? I said, every time I walk by, you say that stuff. He's like, what stuff? He didn't know how to take me on. So I'm looking at him and saying, no, nah, man. Every time I walk by, you say exactly this, and I want you to stop. I forgive you, but stop it. He's like, oh, is that hurting you? Now, I could have said, nah, or I could have said, yeah. It takes a level of humility to actually say, um, actually, I don't like that. It's, it's killing me. And they said, uh, yeah, it's hurting me. He said, all right, I'm sorry, man. I was just, you know, playing around. He said, give me a hug. He said, what? I said, give me a hug. He was like, all right. <laughs> so I gave him a hug. I'm a hugging machine. We hugged the, we, we made the Guinness Book of World Records. 1,749 hugs in one year. We did it last year. My arms fell off, all right. <laughs> the scary thing about hugging so many people is that anyone can just pick me up and take me home, all right. Like, what am I going to do? Like, poosh, eat them or something? Like that. Like, pretty mean headbutt, right? I want you to know that you might be playing around. I could pretty much say that 98% of you have teased someone in your life. I tried to commit suicide because of people who thought they were having fun. Not knowing the hell that I was going through. The people you're teasing. What if the person you're teasing is the person who's thinking of committing suicide? What if the person you're teasing is the one who's tried to commit suicide? Who hates their life because of you? You don't know if the person you are teasing is the son or daughter of a drunk at home getting abused. And all they need is someone like you to keep on pushing them this way. We need hope. So find something else to do. Find positive things in your own life. I don't care about how you look. I will never, ever, ever tease you. I will never tease you. I could tease you. I could be tough. People thinking that bullying is tough. It ain't tough. My wheelchair, this is tough. This thing, man. I'll tell you something. You ready? This wheelchair. This thing's so tough. When my friend built this for me, he said, you're going to love it. I said, what, does it go fast? He said, no, but it's tough. And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, you'll find out. The torque in these motors at the bottom, at the back, this thing, if someone's holding it, I'm telling you, it can go 90 degrees. I went 80 degrees up, all right? Someone's holding me to make sure I don't tip back. My wife, she loves shopping with me because she just jumps on the back and we go shopping. Like, <laughs> she just shops and shops because she doesn't drop, right? We just go and do it. It's fun. Now, what I tried one day to do, you'll never believe me, maybe you will, just know that every word that comes out of my mouth is not an exaggeration. One day, I needed to move a car. So I got my wife to put my car, my 66 Chevelle, in neutral. It's a two and a half ton car and I backed it back with this thing. Two and, just this, just like this, like, like nothing. This thing is tough. Guess what? The definition of tough means it's strong. To show your strength, you need to do something that's difficult. I would sound so stupid if I said, hey guys, I got a matchbox car one day and I got some fishing line and I towed that matchbox car all around all day. How tough is my BMW? That's stupid. That's the same thing with bullying. You think you're tough? You're trying to show your strength? That's not your strength. Let me get, let me come back in 10 years and let me get your three, anyone have a three-year-old nephew? Anybody have a three-year-old nephew? Cool, put your hands down. I will get any one of your three-year-old nephews, bring them tomorrow night, 
at where I'm speaking and we're gonna put him up on stage and let me show you how tough I am we'll get your three-year-old nephew and we'll put him up here on the table and let me tease him let me show you how tough I am that's what you are I could pick on you you biggest bullies I could pick on anything you like any singer any music that you like, I could tease you. I could tease your family. I could tease your friends. I could tease about the movies that you, that you think are really cool. I could tease anything about you. I could tease you about your nose, your eyes, your teeth, your chin, your hair, your ears, your elbows, your knees, your whatever, man. I can tease you about anything. It ain't hard just like you can tease me. You want to know what tough is? Go to the people you teased and say sorry. You want to know what tough is? Go up to the people who still tease you and say, Hey, stop it. I forgive you, but please stop it. That's tough. I want you to know something, the truth of who you are. I don't care what job you get. I don't care. I don't care how smart you are, everyone. I don't care. I don't care. I love you and I believe in you. I don't care if you end up being a janitor in this school, I'll tell you why. Because the janitor in my high school inspired me to be a speaker. He changed my life. He said, you should be a speaker. You know what I said? You're crazy. He said, no, really, you need to be a speaker. I said, stop it, man. Four months later, he twisted my arm and I said, yes. I spoke in front of 10 people, then another 10, then another 10, then I found myself in front of 300 sophomore students. And three minutes into my speech, half the girls were crying, and one girl in the middle of the room started weeping. And she put up her hand and she said, I'm so sorry, can I come up there and give you a hug? And in front of everybody, she came up and she hugged me and she cried on my shoulder and she whispered in this ear, thank you, thank you, thank you. No one's ever told me that they love me. No one's ever told me that I'm beautiful the way that I am. It was because my parents told me that I was beautiful, that I'm still here. Some of you don't have those parents, and that's why I'm here. I love you, and you're beautiful just the way you are. Never, ever give up. How many schools do you think that I spoke to actually stopped bullying altogether? Okay. Whoever said one, you were correct. One school out of 600, I got a letter from the headmaster and he said, Nick, you forever changed our school, blah, blah, blah. We haven't seen any bullies pick on anybody for eight months straight we don't know what happened but in the best words that I can describe there's just a new thought in the air that it just ain't cool anymore it just ain't cool I want to ask you What are you going to do? Are you going to continue on? At the risk of knowing that in each section, this section right here, five people are already trying to commit suicide. That section there, five people. When you extrapolate it out, What if the person you're teasing is one of those and you have no idea? Would you find something else to do? So, the change is up to you. If you want to see more love in your school, be love. If 50% of the school come together and say, you know what, it just ain't cool anymore. The people who think it's still cool, every time they look down upon you, I want you to look at, I want you to imagine my face looking at you. 
Because I'm telling you, everyone you're teasing is my brother and my sister. And you're my brother and you're my sister. And I'm asking you to stop. Love yourself a bit more. Love each other a lot more. Achieve. To do, succeed in doing, accomplish. Encouraged. To give courage, hope, or confidence to, embolden, hearten. Limbs. An arm or leg of a person or four-legged animal, or a bird's wing. Fall off. To become detached or to drop from. Headbutt. To deliver a sharp blow by driving the head into an opponent. Tease. A person who makes fun of or annoys others, as with playful or taunting remarks. Tough. Strong and resilient. Bullying. Persistent acts intended to make life unpleasant for another person. Wheelchair. A chair mounted on large wheels, used primarily by people who cannot walk or have difficulty walking. BMW. A company that is based in Germany and is known worldwide for its high-quality vehicles. Weeping. Shedding tears, tearful. Headmaster. A man who is the principal of a school, usually a private school. Extrapolate. To infer or estimate by extending or projecting known information. Look up. To raise your eyes when you are looking down at something. Mm.